The Big Cat Expose is about exposing travelers to the varied uh, environments, species, uh, and destinations in, in Southern Africa in this case. The Mala Mala Game Reserve adjacent to the Kruger National Park is a heavily wooded, perfect leopard uh, environment. Mala Mala has been a, an, an exceptional start to the, uh, to the Big Cat Expose. We, we've come to Africa to look for the three cats. We're looking for, for leopard, uh, cheetah and lion. <laughs> We were fortunate enough at Mala Mala, which, which uh, it, it really delivers in terms of the, the big cats. We've, we found all three already. The leopard viewing is, 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 I think, I tell people, I think it's the best in the world. And um, because if there's better, I'd like to see it. Each territory that these individuals set up has to have a, a, its own water, permanent water supply. And because of the high density of impala, they have a good food supply. And as long as we keep our, leopard, our impala population stays up, our leopard population will stay up. One of our major draw cards is the Kruger Park. This common boundary. Yeah, we've got a common boundary with the Kruger Park and, and a big thing about it is the fence was dropped in the early 90s. And I then became an, the enemy of the board on the fence and uh, issue. And I'm pleased to say we won. And I've got a picture here which I'm quite proud of. There's the director of national parks on the Kruger Park and me on this side cutting the fence. And that's how we took it down. That was in 1993. So animals have got free movement in and out of the property. Mm -hmm. Then we've also got the sand river that runs all the way along here from our very northwestern corner all the way to our southeastern corner. The money coming into the area from tourists paying good money, paying top dollar to see um, good game, undeniably supports that area. It then stays a viable commercial enterprise. Remember the land is private land. It could be used for farmland, it could be used for anything. But the fact is that people, it sustains itself by people paying to view the animals on it. In other words, they're paying for the land to be maintained in its pristine condition. When we went out first thing this morning, uh, obviously our number one want and intention for the morning was to try and find um, some of the big cats. And we left camp and Chris was lucky enough to hear some alarm calling animals. Morning's been absolutely awesome. Uh, we've been tracking a female leopard through some amazing terrain. And it was challenging because you've got all this beautiful grass, but it gets in front of her face. See the leopard, um, that's, that's its territory, that's its habitat. It can move, move very easily through that, that sort of brush. So not as easy to get a Land Rover through that, uh, that sort of terrain. <laughs> essentially camouflages itself is that with the spot or with the rosettes and the spot pattern it makes itself its one body basically into a thousand little pieces which are easy to conceal rather than trying to conceal the outline of one so essentially it breaks the outline of the animal. She posed for us a couple times we didn't think we'd ever get some shots of her and so then all of a sudden she steps right up on this beautiful log and just poses for us. The great part about it is that uh, the clouds came over, so we had soft overcast light and for photography on these portrait shots. It was absolutely stunning. Her scent marking and her walking like she was, stopping every now and then, listening. That's, that's, that's typically how, how leopards hunt and how leopards will go around and, and sort of mark their territory and, and do that kind of thing. Mala Mala is a prime viewing destination for the, the large cats. It's one of the, the best areas in which you can see lions, leopards and cheetahs. You'll never see all of them with equal facility. Uh, cheetahs, of course, prefer open habitat, which doesn't favor leopards as much. 
here the, the habitat is ideal for leopards. It's very good for lions. So our leopard viewing is exceptionally good. Lion viewing is very good. And we see cheetahs with um, regularity. If our visit to Mala Mala has shown us one thing, it's that ecotourism works. We've, we're visiting a pristine environment, uh, the hand of man is almost invisible, and, and our experiences, our interactions and our sightings have been absolutely first class. And people say to me, what do you enjoy most about Mala Mala? I say, seeing people enjoying Mala Mala. I get a big thrill when people drive out of here with smiling faces and having enjoyed themselves here. That means we're doing our job properly. And uh, we hope that, especially with the young people, we're keen on the young people program. You know, we give them backpacks and all that sort of thing. And uh, if they go back to wherever they come from, and there's a park there, and there's a squirrel, or there's a bird, or something, we hope when they get back, they're going to go and see that that gets looked after. So maybe if we're successful in 5% of the time, at least we're contributing favorably to nature somewhere in the world. <laughs>